Hey everyone, I'm Airing Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. We're gonna jump in and do another loot guide today, uh, talk about a lot of the stuff that you can make money off of because of these pre-patch, pre-wipe events, whatever they may be. I'm not here to argue. I've got other videos that talk about wipe versus just patch. Nonetheless, these events with the scab bosses and stuff like that have created some interesting dynamics in the economy. And I'm gonna show you how to make some money off of that. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to dive into not only what items are valuable, but why they're valuable. So you can find some others that I might overlook, or if things change, you know how to track these things down. So first off, we're going to talk about armors. All of the high class armors, specifically the AACPC and the class sixes are driving prices for a lot of barter items because people are using those more now. They, they feel like wipes coming. Whether wipes coming or not is irrelevant. What matters is, is people think it is. So they're spending money like they think it is. That causes prices on stuff to go up. You know, it causes inflation essentially. So right now we have the ACPC. And if you look, these things are selling for 700,000, which is twice what they were selling before the event started. And because of that, there is a barter with, here with Ragman for the ACPC. And we'll go look at it here real quick. And it is for three quarters, a whiskey and three rip stops. Now, because of that, it has caused all of these. Not so much the whiskey. The whiskey is worth a little bit more, but it's not worth a ton. It's always worth keeping, but just keep in mind that instead of selling to the vendor, you can flea market it now. But Corduras and Ripstop specifically, as you can see, they are through the roof. And me personally, I'm crafting them nonstop right now and using them for AACPC barters so I can feed my AACPC addiction as uh, as I play all these raids on reserve. But because of that, it's made Corduras and Ripstops worth keeping 100%. And along with that, the Slick Barter requires two Troopers, two Corduras, and four Aramids. So same deal. Now that makes Aramids worth a whole bunch. You can see here, Aramids are pushing 30, 40. Like you could buy them all out right now. I guess that guy's got 27 for sale, but there's a bunch of them in here at higher prices because that's where people are using. Same thing with the Troopers. Troopers are a fortune now. So if you're finding these things, they are 100% worth taking out a raid for found and raid. Or if somebody's wearing them, keep them because they're great for that Slick Barter. Now there's no barter as you can see here for troopers you just got to buy them or get them off raiders that's where you usually find them stashes things like that and then likewise h grids you know these things are really expensive now as well and the barters for those use the schmosk masks these ski holes with masks for eyes or ski hat with holes for eyes uh these things are a one slot item worth 40k and then round frame glasses which you get off of shawl and stuff and they kind of bounce around but i see them pushing 30k over and over again which makes them worth keeping or at least putting on your face to get out a raid with paracords these are used for a couple of barters but more importantly people are buying or using them in raid or reserve for the extract definitely worth keeping and selling if you get out a raid with filters these things are used for barters with mags and things like that so they're always they're pushing this 30k range again a great item to take out so again all of these are just barter items that are being used by people and that is driving up the cost for a lot of this stuff the next set of barters has to do with thermals and d batteries are big on this list right now you'll find these in filing cabinets and jackets and things like that usually as you can see they're pushing 30k a pop and that's because you use them at jaeger or a barter for the d-lock this is the mount for the Reap IR scope. And that's the only way to get it. You can't buy this, you can only barter for it. So that has pushed D batteries into this absurd territory. You know, it's costing 160,000 right now to just get a mount for your, your Reap IR. So keep that in mind. And because of that, you're also seeing Iridium's filters and MCBs go up in price. Now these are always all worth keeping, but just keep in mind that especially Iridium's right now, they are through the roof because they're more rare than the other items. They're harder to find. They are all over reserve uh, where a lot of people are running, but people run past them. There's not a lot of looting going on right now because everybody's focused with other stuff. Just one of those things that if you get out of raid, it's worth a bunch of money. Over here to shampoo and soap. Now shampoo's got a couple of reasons it's worth a bunch of money. And we'll go in here and we'll do a required search. If you didn't know, this is how you can look at stuff. Get rid of exclude barter items. Shampoo is used for TV 110 barters, which are also going for a lot right now because of the wipe. Same thing with the AVS plate carriers. You know, you got seven shampoos for this. People are using these as well as the uh, regenerative stims. You know, this is three shampoos. And when stims are going for over 100K, 150K, people start leaning towards that for those green stims. So shampoo is worth a fortune right now. It's worth a bunch of money. It's worth keeping. Keep that in mind. And because of that, that means sham or soap's going to be worth a lot. This is pushing the soap, the soap prices up because in the laboratory, you use soap to make shampoo. Where is it? Right there. So soap and a water bottle. 
And if you look, water bottles are kind of expensive, still not really worth keeping because you can buy them from therapist, but the soap is definitely there where you're, uh, you're crafting two shampoos for one soap and making some decent money if you're looking to do that. And then the last kind of item I wanna talk about is centered around crafts. Now, red gunpowder is worth a bunch right now because you use it to make M61. Yeah, you use it to make all the high-end ammos, basically. And to craft it, you need uh, kite gunpowder, which you can see here, selling for 25, 30K. Helixes, which is used for M61. Those are pushing a small fortune. So helixes are definitely something worth keeping. And matches, which are always worth keeping, but now it's definitely worth going diving into filing cabinets if you're in raid you're sitting there healing uh you know you're, you're packing mags whatever you're doing you find a place to hang out for a sec there's tons of filing cabinets on reserve poke through those and find three or four matches and man you've got more loot than you know a mag full of uh, m995 sometimes it feels like and then last mention honorable mention is grenades i don't know why these are worth a bunch because there's so many of them in raid right now you get them from all the scav bosses but as you can see grenades are worth keeping found in raid is for sure uh, they're selling for 15, 16K. We've even seen them push 20, 30K occasionally at night when there's nobody on to sell them and people are still buying them. Just more items for you to loot. Uh, quick video here. I didn't dive into a whole bunch of detail and a bunch of other things, but I wanted to show you some of the things you might not be realizing are worth a bunch of money uh, that has towards crafts and finding loot in raid. So I hope it helps and good luck making money out there on reserve. See you next time. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel a bunch. And subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord, links down in the description, that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap it up and we'll see you in Tarkov.